What's going on, y'all? My name is Kirk Valentino. And my name is Belange. Welcome back to Playtime is Over. I cannot fucking wait for us to get to the streets. Yeah. So we're gonna we're taking Playtime is Over to the streets. Yes, we're still going to do the pod, but we will be on the streets meeting people, interacting with them. We might find our male co-host. Might just. You know, you know, I've been really itching to get outside and meet some people and say, listen, do you want to be on the show? <laughs> do you want to get on a fucking show? Okay. Do you want to be a star? Yeah. So I realized the type of nigga that I want to come on the show, I want him to be older than us. Mm. I want him to be like almost in his 40s. Or he could be 40s. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you making I'm that I'm sorry. Thing? I can't control my face sometimes. But baby, what? Because I Why? Th- Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I could have sworn I saw it. I saw the red dot. No. Rested it. We need an intern. <laughs> This is fucking crazy. Oh wow, we should get an intern. We should. We'll meet because, them when we take I mean, the to the streets. Yeah. I'm saying that I want the nigga to be in his forties or at least in entering in late thirties, early forties. Late thirties, thirty five latest. She want him to be thirty five the Or thirty eight. It really don't if I'm not big on it, I'm not hell bent on it. I age. just think thirty. Thirty something. 40, you're pushing it. All right, 40 is pushing it, but <laughs> I, he could be a mature 35. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm talking about. Like somebody like Nick. Like, I feel like Nick, I think Nick would have been a great component on the pod. Nick. Nick is the one from that other studio? No, Nick was the one that was here when we did, um, <laughs> you don't remember Nick. He did our episode. What episode was that? He did the episode with us? Yes. We were in that room. We were in that room. Nick. All right, I don't got time for you. She smoked too much. Like, I don't got time for this. I don't smoke enough, honestly. But I, anyway, the moral of the story is we taking this podcast to the streets. We're going to meet our male co-hosts. And when we do meet the nigga, <clears throat> we gonna, I'm going to see that nigga. I'm going to say, listen, do you want to be a star? He's going to come on a pod, and that's when the pod is going to blow up. You know what I mean? I agree. Cause we need a we need a man's voice in the room. I'm a man, but I feel like I have a different <laughs> different lens on certain situations. Like I love the the ignorant dumbass niggas that have these weird perspectives. We need that perspective on the show. You know what I yeah. mean? I so agree. shout out to them. You said you wanted to talk about Jackie O. I I did want to talk about Jackie O. Rest in peace to Jackie Rest O. Rest in peace. Um, she is is it's ways to go, but like. It's just, those are just not one of the ways I would want to go. Like, that's just sad. Um, Her, so apparently, like, she was going to Miami. She got a mommy makeover by this doctor. A lot of people are upset um, with the doctor, of course, and people are looking into his, like, certifications. Yeah, because they said he he got sued before. Oh, no, no, no. They said he got bad reviews before, right? Oh. And he sued one of them for um, defamation, and then he unsued them, and then he somebody gave him bad reviews again, and then he sued them for like twenty thousand or some shit like that. Wow, see, I didn't and they know said that, he but... wasn't even certified. Yeah, this is all alleged. A, a, a lot of the stuff is alleged. Allegedly, so, yeah, yeah, and it's just a lot of a lot of things tie into um, her death that I want to talk about, like like people who are giving shout outs. Um, not shout outs, but like, you know, like expressing their um, you condolences. Them, you want them to shut the fuck up? No, no, no. It's not even that. But sometimes, but like, all right. So just recently, like B. Simone, no shade towards B. Simone. I love B. Simone. I love her podcast. No shade means shade. But go ahead. No shade. <laughs> <laughs> but I saw a post recently. And you wanted her to shut the fuck up. Can I talk? <laughs> <laughs> I saw a post recently where she posted on her story and somebody screenshot it, right? The post said, oh, this is a rough time. I'm not going to be posting on my regular story. I'm going to be posting on my close friends. And she was like, close friends, I love you. Thank you for your support. Da, 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 da. So she posted the link to her close friends. And you know when celebrities have close friends, you have to subscribe. You have to pay to be in their close friends. So she tried to... So people took that as like a, oh, you're using Jackie's death as oh, a way to no. get people to pay Wait, to be in your close friends. Wait, what was it even about friends. Jackie's death? 
it was basically like you know because it was afterwards like she was just basically saying oh like this God. is a rough time and I can't post on my regular story so I'm gonna be posting on my close friends and y'all gonna have to pay for it <laughs> Like, that's like, literally what it was. You kind of look like the girl that's on her pod, her friend, her best friend. I think her name is Bree or something. You look like her. Somebody told me that before. <laughs> somebody, I swear somebody I feel told like me I'm that sitting before. right next to her. But I... <laughs> get the fuck out of here. She's I think she's though. beautiful. Yeah. I think she's beautiful. It's just... I think it's just, like, the cheekbones or something. Because she got, like, high cheekbones. But her lips are huge. I don't have lips as huge as hers. I don't remember. Not her like lip. you know. I don't judging. remember her lips. She's beautiful. Love the lips. The yeah, lips she's are beautiful. gorgeous. But I don't. My lips aren't as luscious. Anyway, <laughs> I don't know how we got on that. But look, so she tried to use Jackie O's death to get subscription. That's what it was. That's basically what it's that's getting. Kind of fucked up. Come on, it B. is kind of fucked up. So then, what did she say after that? I don't know. I don't know. Did she ever like clear it up? Like, no, y'all, it wasn't that. I don't know, but I guess people, everybody mourns differently, of course. Why didn't you put that on silent? And it was on silent, <laughs> and it's just like, Jesus Christ. But yeah, so, you know, rest in peace, Jackie O. Um, apparently, she didn't die on the table or anything. She died in her hotel room. Oh, my God. Did like, maybe she what, had, like, complications. Did they say what went wrong? I don't know. I saw a post that said she had heart failure or something. What did she get done? She got a, a mommy makeover, so I'm assuming, like, the whole shebang, like, Maybe, like, she oh. got a BBL, tummy tuck, or... Oh, damn. You know. That's so. a lot on the body. It is a, it is a lot on you the know, body. That was with CJ. When CJ was here, she was telling us that that shit is risky. As it far. is. It is. You risk dying every time you get, like, a BBL or... A BBL in itself is just too evasive. Like, that... And alone. it's cutting away at your lymph system, which we need. Yes. I didn't know that because I love surgery. I haven't had any yet. But... <laughs> I love surgery. I love the idea of people going yeah. and getting things fixed and pulled and plucked and snipped that they feel like is an insecurity for them. Mm -hmm. Like, I love the idea of that, but that shit is dangerous at the end of the day. It's me. I'm like half and half. Like, I'm the type of person where if you don't like something about yourself, yes, go fix it. But I do want people to love themselves more mm -hmm. in order, like... To just not have to, just not necessarily deal with it, but in a sense, like, learn to love this trait about yourself and maybe enhance it to where it's, like, you know, not I mean, but some people be that. needing it. Like, I don't think, <laughs> I don't think Jackie O needed that shit. I, I think don't she, think she did. Because I want to see how she looked before. She probably didn't really need it. I didn't think she needed it. Personally, from what I, from what I've seen, for her, I've, like, to in my mind, for her to have, like, I'm sure you know, sometimes when you, you do something and you like, I should have like, if you had like a pimple on your face and you pop the fucking pimple in and it's like a black mark on your nose or some shit, you like, I should have just fucking left it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. I'm sure that she didn't think that this was gonna happen. You know yeah, what I mean? Like, yeah. And then if she had she known, she would have been like, you know what? I'ma just, I'ma just leave it. Exactly. It's not worth losing your life like that's exactly. fucked up I know exactly. she didn't really need it and I hope no one thinks that we're shaming her for the choices that she made because regardless of the fact just like just like Kirk said we love surgery like or you know he loves yeah. surgery we're all for people taking the time to if you don't like something about yourself do what you want to do that's, okay that's and that's the thing I feel like there's nothing wrong with surgery but I feel like sometimes I feel like sometimes we drag it. Yeah. Like, sorry, y'all. I feel like sometimes we drag it as a people. Like, I feel like I know for a fact that we look at Jackie O's pictures before. She really didn't need that. She looks good. Yeah, she's a she's beautiful girl. Beautiful girl. So I'm just like, dang, like, that's fucked up. Yeah. And I'm very sad to see that. And we, not to mention, we love DC Young Fly. That's it. Yeah. Come on. He's a cultural icon. Yeah. And especially in our new generation, he's a cultural icon in our, our era. Our We came up in the Instagram, you know what I mean? And then he, she had three kids. Three. So. And her oldest, I mean, her youngest is 10 months. That's crazy. I don't even think he's a year yet. I don't think he's a year yet. Now they got to grow up without a mom. And yeah. it's just really unfortunate. But rest in peace to her and rest my condolences peace. to her family and DC Young Fly. And um, do you believe in sharing passwords with significant others? Um, I do, but I just like so. I feel like I'm gonna always bring this up because this is like a huge chunk of my life. But well, the person I was with for like almost six years, 
Like was that we the narcissist? Had, yes. Okay. We had the same password. Oh, that's cute. So, like, so both of our phones. That is so cute. Phone. Oh my god, I can't wait to get him in. I don't think that was cute though, because at the end of the day, Why? I felt like well, it was. Whose decision was it? Was it your decision or his decision? His. I didn't think of it. <laughs> that's so funny think of because it. the niggas they be doing shit like that, but they be the ones doing shit. Manipulators. That's what it was. It, I think it was just some. But wasn't it convenient? Tactic. You needed to go on his phone to be nosy, and uh, you knew his password. The nigga damn near had slept with his phone in his pocket. Oh well, damn. <laughs> So it's like at that point I don't even need the password. At that point I don't fucking need it. I already know the vibes. Yeah, that's why. Like honestly, I'm just really not the type of person that checks phones anymore. Like I really. It's like don't. you once you know. I've just never. And you a cancer, so your intuition should be. And it's weird because I feel like once <laughs> <laughs> y'all know she Haitian, <laughs> so <laughs> I just feel like with niggas. And this is probably why I don't have one. If I feel the slightest <laughs> little anything, I just stop talking to you. Yeah. Like if I feel if I feel like I'm like chasing you and you don't like me, I just stop talking to you. If I feel like you're doing something and you are trying to manipulate me, I'm I'm not talking. Like I, you could literally do the littlest thing to me. I take red flags very serious. Yeah. If I know if we just met each other and you trying to just start arguments with me for no reason about bullshit, I'm not talking to you. You're going on block. Who did I block the other day? <laughs> I be no, I be. This is why I don't have a man. I be blocking niggas left and right. So, did you want to tell him about Dante? So let me tell y'all. <laughs> Great. Let me tell y'all. So, me Kirk is taking us. We going to the pizza spot, right? Me in my area. This guy pulls up. Mind you. Kirk is the type of person, he loves forcing niggas onto his friends, not realizing that the niggas want him, right? So, mind you, my seat is like this. You can't see me from the passenger. So, if somebody pulls up next to me, like, they're not going to see me. They see Kirk. This guy pulls up, and he's like, oh, he's talking to you. I was like, somebody talking to me? I had to lift up. And I'm like, oh, hi. What, uh, hi. What's your name? <laughs> All right, let me tell my side of the story. And he, wait, and he like, it's Dante. But I'm I'm looking at him, and he's, like, trying to look over my head to look at the driver's seat, basically. Dante was fine as fuck, y'all. Dante was fine. He and was, he missed out on his opportunity driving that nice little Chrysler. And Okay, so let me tell y'all my side of the story. First of all, Dante, if you're listening, like... <laughs> Listen, I'm so sorry. Like, I don't be realizing niggas is trying to talk to me. Yeah. Because even when we went to the other piece of spot, the nigga was in my face. And I was like, am I bugging or he's in my face? He was in your face. So Dante pulls up. He pulls up next to us. I'm in the driver's seat. She's in the passenger seat, but she's leaned back. So, But I didn't realize it in a moment that he couldn't really see her. And then my window's in the front and slightly tinted. So... He he's looking at me and I'm looking at him. I roll her window down, and he no he rolled his window down first. He rolled his window down first. He rolled his window down. He was looking at me and he rolled his window down. So I roll my window down, and then I said, "Are you trying to talk to her?" Like I didn't even <laughs> I didn't even realize that he was trying to talk to me and he didn't see her. So then she lifts up, and then that's what I realized when he looked and he was like, "Oh, he when he said, oh, I just rolled it down because." What he said? He made some excuse as to why he rolled his window down. I think he was like... He said, because you rolled it down. He said something that wasn't true. I think it was like... you was. I think he said you was looking over here, so I rolled the window down. Yeah, I something like that. And I wasn't even looking over there first. He was looking at me first. And then he said, oh, um, hi, how y'all doing? Or he, he said, how y'all doing? How you doing? He said, how you doing? He said, how you but doing? But you, you know what it was? You know where he fucked up at? Right? He, where he fucked up at was really... Pushing the nigga on me because now he's now he feels awkward. Yeah. Now he's like, oh, fuck. Now he's like, oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I ain't want to talk to her, but all right. Hey, what's your name? Yeah, he said, hey, like, what's your name? <laughs> and he said, I'm Dante. And then, and, and then just, I said my name, and he said like, oh, that's unique. And then the nigga drove off. He said, all right, y'all have a good point, one. That off. Because he ain't want to talk to me. Like, he wanted to talk to him, but now it's awkward because now it's like, oh, you got somebody else in the car. And you didn't even, he didn't even see me. 
Wait, you don't think <laughs> you don't think you would eventually lifted your head up? No. I was chilling. It hit me later. It hit me after. Like, if anything, oh, if I would have lifted my head up. He's trying to talk to me. If I I'm was... just so dumb. Like, he's trying to talk to Real me. Dumb. And I'm just like, <laughs> oh, you trying to talk to her? Like, I didn't even. And I looked, I looked cute that day, You too. did look cute. You was cute that day. <sighs> so my man sped off. Shout out to Dante, y'all. Dante, that's going to be the name of this Dante episode. Dante missing out. Dante, if you if you listening, because once he saw your ass, he said, oh. <laughs> yeah, he was just like, oh, dang. Okay, this is going to look like I'm doing oh, something fuck. I ain't supposed to be doing. <laughs> and he sped off in his Chrysler. And I started to follow his ass, too. <laughs> <laughs> I started, but then he turned somewhere. Then we went into the thing. I should. We should have caught up to his ass. Said, you know what? Listen, I ain't mean that in the back. Like, listen. I, mean, I know now that I know you want to be with me. Like, let's get to know each other. But I don't know what type of shit he was on. Like, I don't know if he was like, like what? Because I'm not in a space where I just want to fuck. Like, I want a real relationship. Like, I'm in a real situation here. I'm about to be thirty. Like, I don't have time for that. Like, yes, I do get times where I want to fuck, but. I want a real relationship. Like, all these niggas want to do is just fuck. Yeah. So, I don't know if that's just what he wanted, because if that's the case, then I'm good. I, I wanna, don't give a fuck how good you look. I want to go out to eat. We should go out to eat after this. What you do? Well, what you doing after this? I got work, but... You got work at eight, right? We we got to go to Best Buy and get some mics for the playtime is over um, outside. We going to be outside, y'all. I hope y'all fucking you ready. You Best Buy for that? Or you want me to order it on Amazon? I don't. I want to at least. Try Walmart. We gotta see. Anyway, <clears throat> but we do got a couple of minutes, y'all. But I do appreciate y'all for tuning in. Listen, for this sure. pod is blowing up. Like, listen, I didn't go to college. I didn't go to motherfucking trade school. This is it. Yeah. This is happening. <laughs> you ever saw that video with Nikki? It was a video with Nikki. It's like when she had just dropped her album. She was like, yeah, her head, and she's about to go somewhere. And they put, they doing her weave, and she eating. She like. I ain't go to college. I ain't, like, this is it. And I felt her on that. <laughs> like, looking back, I feel her. Like, you, at this point, this is it. Like, we gotta, yeah. we gotta do something. Once we get our third co-host, it's gonna be Wait, number so, one podcast in the world, huh? Uh, One last thing. So, the guy, Travis, he was found guilty? He was found, they said he was found not guilty. Oh, not guilty? The bitch should be in jail. Who did, who started all this? She not even getting arrested or nothing. No. No. She need to be the one. She started it. In case y'all wondering what we're talking about, we're talking about the Travis. Travis Randolph case? Yeah. Do you think he's cute? He was kind of cute. He was, he's kind of cute, yeah. yeah. He's like, you know, the ugly cute. He's the cute that if his personality is good, he could win me over. Yeah, yeah. that's the cute. And if is. the dick is slapping. Not that I want to, whatever. <laughs> I'm very careful about sexualizing straight men on a pod because I don't yeah. I don't want to be publicly like coming on to somebody like I'm not thirsty you know what I mean mm -hmm. but he was okay Kirk I'm just not liking how I look huge and you look so small is it me? you know the camera adds 10 pounds but what? <laughs> the camera adds 10 pounds it, it for some reason they don't want to add it to me but whatever oh my goodness well, I'm happy he was found not guilty. Well, yeah. Maybe I shouldn't be happy because he did kill somebody. He did kill somebody, but he was protecting himself. And he was they came, They pulled family. up on him. They pulled up on him, but and he did chase their asses. He chased their asses with a fucking big ass. Did you see the did video? Yes, uh, good. <laughs> <laughs> this this big jury, ass gun. And the, the lady jury, said, all right, put it down now. The judge had to tell him, all right, stop facing towards the jury. <laughs> she was po walking around the courtroom with this big ass gun. Right. That was really the real gun he had? That was the same size. Oh my I don't God. think that was the actual gun that he had, but that was the it was the same. Size. Oh, he he was ready for war. But the way he was running with that gun made it he seem was, like it was a little ass gun. <laughs> he was ready for war with that big shit. Need to lock her up. She, she started look it. Nothing like her pictures. <laughs> well, you know, a lot of people don't look like these pictures. It's a lot of, it's a lot of, yeah, she yeah. But she need to be locked up. She the one who texted them to come to the thing, and now somebody's dead because she was in her feelings. That boy, that poor boy family, his family, who they lost somebody, and he, somebody lost their life, and somebody else got shot because of all the. And mind you, she married to another nigga. Yeah, she's married, and she's married. Well, is it one of the? Is it a oh real my marriage, god, or is it an African marriage to where they just 
you know. At this point, I need me one of them because I need me some money right now. I need one too. <laughs> a quick little twenty k won't, won't, won't uh, hurt no right? Give me one fifty. Oh, that's how much they doing it for? I don't know, but they you could a lot of the you people, could hurt on that motherfucker. Well, I used real. to hear back in the day. I used to hear people was doing it for the twenty k. It was twenty back in the day. It's more now. <laughs> Let me find the fuck out. It'd be if a, I'm putting my name on paperwork, let it be a lot of Africans at dreams. Yeah, let me find out. I'm coming out. Not a, mm, I'm lying. It don't be a lot of Africans at dreams, but we finna turn it up. <laughs> well, you gonna get you a anyway? Thank y'all for tuning in, Kirk Valentino, Tony motherfucking Braxton. Ow. Follow me on Instagram, K I R Q U E V A L E N T I N motherfucking O. And you can follow me, LaFleur.XO. That's L A F L E U R.XO. We're taking a pause to the street, y'all. Playtime is over, bitches. <laughs>